Okay, so here we are continuing with our application of the triangle angle sum theorem, which says that the angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So since the angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees, what must be the value of x? Well, x has to be a number such that when I add it to 64 and 30, I get 180. So one way to do this is to, to write an equation. So I can write x plus 64 plus 30 equals 180, and then I can just solve for x. Or I can just add 64 plus 30 which is 94, and then subtract that from 180, and I get 86. So x is 86 degrees. You can also just solve the equation I initially wrote, and you should get the same thing. Okay, what's the relationship between the 86 degrees and the y here? Or what's the relationship between x and y? Well, they are supplementary which means they're going to add up to 180 degrees. So y has to be a number such that when I add it to 86, I get a total of 180 degrees. So I can just say 180 minus 86, and that should give me y. So what's 180 minus 86? That's 94. So this is 94 degrees. Once I know this is 94 and this is 20, now I can find Z. I just have to add 94 plus 20 and then subtract it from 180 and I get my Z. 94 plus 20 is 114. And 180 take away 114. is 66 so z is 66 so x is 86 y is 94 and z is 66 so i'm left with choice d